Welcome to the beginner's guide to the Colorado Flat Fender Color Tours. If you're lucky enough to get picked to go to the Fall Color Tours, this short video may help you out. This was our first time there. This is the farthest I've ever took in my Jeep. It's about a good 1,600 miles one way. Uh, once we got there, it was absolutely beautiful. Never seen anything like that. All the trees, the aspen, and then the trails, and then you're hanging out with all these other flat fender Jeep nuts. It was just a real awesome trip. Let's get started. You know, your primary vehicle is gonna take you there. Uh, I'm coming from SoCal, so all the way from SoCal to uh, Colorado, that was about a good uh, 14 hour ride. Uh, make sure that my uh, vehicle was up to snuff, oil change, I have a diesel, so fuel filters. I you know, rotated tires, made sure my tires are good, and then uh, I was able to pull that trailer. Let's talk trailer. Trailers get neglected mostly because of the Jeep. You know, you put all your time into the Jeep and you put less time into your trailer. When in fact, the trailer's taking a hell of a beating as well. Uh, we drove 14 hours and that trailer um, did a lot of work. Uh, a lot of people there at the Colorado Flat Fender Color Tours were um, all describing their way in. Uh, I say about good seven people had blowouts or had a wheel bearings out. Uh, I myself on the way back blew a tire and I only had one spare so about I drove home about 700 miles on uh, no, with no spare so so just make sure that uh, your trailer is up to snuff it's got good wiring good lights uh, and make sure everything's working well because that thing's gonna go for a, a nice ride I would even suggest probably bringing uh, two spare tires in case you blow one I was uh, wishing I had an extra one on my ride back home so uh, just a thought so let's talk about our jeeps all right from everything i read on the internet before i went uh, everybody was saying that uh, you're gonna need a few things and one of the major things is the carburetor uh, i made sure that this was professionally rebuilt before i took it and tuned and then i put it in i also brought a uh, carburetor from one of my other jeeps back here as a spare um, I also brought another mechanical fuel pump and I also brought another uh, electronic one so um, it, it's safe to say that everybody had some problems with their carburetors um, it's good to have that stuff you know on your person when you're driving out there um, make sure you have all the little the little um, clips and maybe bring some i brought some extra line i um and all the tools needed to get that job done some extra wire make sure your wiring's good make sure um you know your cooling system's good make sure you got extra points if you got points i have electronic distributor i didn't bring one because i didn't think about it but someone did go down with one of these electronic um distributors and their coil went out so Maybe even bring another one of these. So, um, you know, just do Murphy's Law. Anything can happen, will happen. And then make sure that uh, you bring anything that you can. Anything that you think that your Jeep might need, you should probably bring it. Um, you know, just empty every pocket. That's what Jeep stands for. And smiles for miles. Also about tires, you need to have good tires. Uh, they take a real beating out there. It's a real beautiful area with some good trails. Some of those trails are real rocky. Um, you know, have a good seat, have a bad back, bad legs. So I made, made that seat a little bit more fluffier for a fluffy guy. I made sure that uh, I was riding comfortable. I had the top on for my wife, she was happy. I uh, made sure I had good tires, good spare. I had an extra can of gas. Uh, I even took the spare off of um, my other Jeep over here. Took the spare off Twin Brother and took it with us. That way I'd have an extra set just in case things went real bad. Um, just make sure you try to think ahead, get everything going. Hate to get all the way over there and need something. Make sure your suspension is good as well. Um, 
the, those trails are rocky and uh, I got up on three wheels a couple times. Make sure your, your suspension is uh, in excellent working condition. Let's talk about glasses. I'm 49 years old and sometime last year I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't read. I needed glasses so I only brought one pair to fall color tours and I happened to leave them in the hotel room. Um, to make life easier, make sure you got a couple pairs inside your Jeep, a couple pairs inside your truck, tape a couple to, you know, some masking tape or, uh, you know, some Gorilla tape to, to your trailer. Make sure that you got glasses available at any time because my, anytime I need to mess with my Jeep or needed to, uh, do some welding or need to do anything, I was hurting for some glasses. Don't forget your glasses. Directions. Directions to the Thirsty Dirt Ranch is available by most GPS systems, uh, except Google. Google did not uh, respond to the address I gave it. Uh, my truck GPS knew where it was and Siri knew where it was, but uh, it's probably a good idea to, to print a hard copy before you leave the house. That way you have um, directions always to the Thirsty Dirt Ranch, just in case you lose cell sight or if you're truck GPS goes down or something like that. Radios. They use uh, FRS radios there. I did the mistake of bringing a handheld CB radio and they do not uh, interact with each other. Uh, it's a good idea to have a radio that way you can listen into what's happening uh, and all the information being given as you're driving and that way you get the full experience. Accommodations. There's camping behind the shop. Uh, Mike opens up uh, his uh, property up to you. Um, you bring your campers, your tents. It's, it's beautiful. It's uh, a happy place. Everybody's having a good time, talking Jeeps and uh, throwing their little mini barbecues and, uh, and little mini parties. Also out in town, the Salida is about 25 miles away and they have um, hotels there and as well as Buena uh, Vista, Colorado is about 15 miles away. They have also have hotels there. So it's like 30 degrees out here in the morning and then the evening it gets about like 70, 75, even 80 yesterday. So you gotta dress in layers when you get here. You got polypropylene, on the outside I got a fleece and sometimes I'll even put the hoodie on and then I got this Gore-Tex jacket. I got regular jeans on, regular shoes. Uh, as it gets warmer, it just starts peeling off layers and works out perfect. Schedule. Um, example of a daily schedule. Uh, I stood out in town at the Best Western, so we'd wake up about 5.30 a.m., get ready, get out the door, and we usually um, stopped and got some ice. Uh, coffee at the gas station and then we headed over to Jan's and then we had breakfast and then we headed to the ranch. Um, at the ranch I would uh, get my vehicle prepped and ready for the day and I would sit in front of a uh, Jeep row in front of the shop. Uh, we would have our Jeepers meeting with Mike and then um, we would uh, wait for us to roll off. So you have the choice to go on the easy routes or, or the easy est I should say. And then you have the choice to go on the hard routes. Uh, there's usually uh, two to three trails going per day. You just line up on the one you want to go and then you just go for it. Last but not least, make sure your transmission is in excellent working order. Make sure it goes through every gear. Make sure it's good to go because it will be tested. Make sure your transfer case shifts into high and to low without any problems and test them out. Don't ask me how I know. I hope this little video helped you out a little bit and looking forward to seeing you out there in the trails and hopefully I see you in Colorado.